Trimondo's A here, my boy David, and I, I love Julia. We are headed to, where are we headed? We're yeah. headed on a ride first and foremost. Julia's joining. Okay. And where are we headed, David? We are heading out towards Lake Austin. No, Lake Travis. That's going to get us out to Cedar Park so we can be cowboys for a day. And yeah, it's going to be really beautiful. And so what he means by we're going to go be cowboys is that we're going to do pure Texas good stuff. We're going to go so shoot some guns. Shoot some guns. <laughs> Constitutional right to do this shit. <laughs> so we are all loaded with, our, both our motorcycles are loaded with guns. Uh, that feels fun and interesting and uh, humbling and respectful. All right, Beautiful this is our first ride out. together. But, uh, in, in a longer ride, yeah, exactly. All right, let's do it. All right. Welcome. Doing our morning routine. Our morning pre-ride routine, which is caffeinate at La Patisserie. Not, it's, our homegirl is not here because we, uh, we looked in the window. Joining us. Hey guys. Oh, I built this place. You built this place. Yeah. I mean, How I gave them the money. I'm the grant coordinator that basically gave all the funding for the target range. So that's your, your job? That's what you do? That's that's one of the things that I do. I'm, uh, I do uh, target range construction projects here around the state. Uh -huh. I'm working for Tiff Sparks and Wildlife. So when did this place open? This place has been open now for about four and a half years, and uh, we did it in two phases. Uh, the first phase was like a planning grant so that we could get all of the um, environmental compliance and all of the different kinds of um, engineering and architectural design. And then after that, we shifted into phase two, which was to actually build the 50 yard uh, range that, that we're going to be So you're like a VIP here, right? I'm, I'm one of them. Okay, that's yeah. good. Let's get it going. I, uh, I tend to carry so this is the, like, the one that I carry as my sort of every day. And it's it's smaller. It's a uh, 1911 um, model, but it fits in my hand really well. It's in this really well, and then it fits behind me really well, so you can't really see it. Yeah, because he doesn't really have much ass, so you know. <laughs> Those are that right. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't see anything. Yeah. And so you have your license to carry. I have a license to carry, but then I also, just here in the state of Texas, we have the constitutional carry right. Which so you means don't have that to have a license. none of us have to have a license. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, as to long carry as we on your body. To carry on your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exciting. Momentous occasion. Mark it down to history. Making true people text in my hair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
this is a uh, basically a take on the high power uh, that um, uh, Springfield Armory has just redone. So it's a uh, it's kind of like your uncle's old firearm. Um, they used to have a really funky little uh, safety system here, uh, which uh, Springfield got rid of. Um, I really like this because it's got a great weight and it also kind of harkens back to the days of old with the wood and just the metal frame. This is the kind of thing that you would take out uh, or your you know your uncle or your great uncle would take out to the woods with him plus his you know uh, 270 or whatever else he was hunting with. Um, this is um, TPK um, TP9 SFX from Canic. The fancy thing about this is we've got a little red dot sight on here. Get ready to fire it. We'll uh, activate that red dot, and you'll uh, see a red dot through the front of the uh, firearm. It's quite nice because it's uh, very, very smooth. It's practically competition right out of the box, so it's got a very great squeeze. And just like Dave's gun, Julia's gun, it's um, polycarbonate on the bottom with the metal. And this is just like a little um, 25 auto from uh, back in the day. Um, kind of like your little James Bond, like little. You know that you would have, and so oh, that would be fun. And, and um, maybe you or Juliet or somebody else can shoot that. We can shoot that later. A couple things about this: um, kind of a, a, a new uh, thing because it's got sort of the traditional slide that the other uh, rifles do. That's what's going to load it. Right now we're in a safety. Uh, uh, once we've got it uh, with the bullet in the uh, chamber, uh, then we'll be uh, ready to. We'll start with one shot. Okay, have you shot that one? It doesn't have any. How do I take down the? It doesn't have any kick whatsoever. It's very, very gentle. How come? Okay. Aim a little high to hit the bullseye. Two parts of this gun. This locks it to the rear. It also releases it if I push it down. Does that mean you slid this back and pop that up? I did. And it locks I did. It First round shooting. This is what I got. Not bad. Got a couple of bullseyes. This is how I roll. We did two guns on this one, right? Yes, we did. 22 and a 25 auto. There we go. So what did we just do here? Can you tell the camera? Sure. What did I do? So uh, Frank was shooting the... Uh, which gun? He was shooting the Springfield um, 9 millimeter and um, started down here with his very first shot and then moved up. He was hitting center mass right on and then moved up again for his third shot, which was a bullseye shot. And all of these are critical shots. The majority of his grouping is on the right, lower right side, which means that he's being very consistent with this. There you go. That's how we do. That's how we do. How are you doing? Good. You I got done? a really good lesson from him. Yeah, like, I, I want to do a private lesson. You should. You should. I'm sure you got a lot already out of it. Yeah, he's on big. What what you got here? What you got here? A little bit about his From the fourth line, the fourth line out. Not bad. Pull in that thing to see me. Standing. All the way, all the way. Bring it all the way, all the way. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Shooter of the bunch. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this one. Look at this. I think we have a, a Lara Croft. Uh, we have in the a winner. <laughs> that is. The but laser makes it easy. Most of these guys don't do that.
best thing to do, what? so go ahead, hold this in your right hand as high as you can get it. Fantastic. Grab your fingers around it. Let's I'm going to pick up this one to show you. Now, turn the firearm over. Give yourself a thumbs up. Take the meaty part of your thumb right here and lay it right in that little open spot right there. Thumb, your right thumb on top of your left thumb. And get this hand as high as you can get it on Very that Very nice. Now lay those thumbs across that guard. Very nice. Square your feet up when you shoot. Bend a little bit at the waist. You need to stick those arms straight out in front. And get that sight right on the center of that part. Yeah, I'll shoot it fresh. Shoot that just to your head. Go ahead, square your feet up. Fix your stance real quick. Stand with your feet shoulder width. Stand straight up. Put that leg up forward a little bit more. There you go. Now bend over at the waist forward. Boom, look at that. Yes. That's so funky. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Renan, check this out. So without doubt, Julia is the best shot Renan has experienced, but Julia, every time, no matter what gun it was, uh, hitting the target, hitting the bullseye, shot after shot, she is really impressive and, and really proud of her. We've got a Lara Croft in the making, so cool. So, how's that? Solid, good times. Got the block packed in. Thank you. See you next time, guys. Yes, sir. See you all next time. What was uh, your the, the highlight of the day for you? Uh, the highlight of the day was um, shooting with, uh, with with my community, with my people, and um, just seeing uh, how on target they are. Just absolutely great shots. Very steady uh, nervous systems. Yeah. My highlight was seeing uh, Julia just be a bomb. <laughs> hold that up, hold that, put it forward, put it forward. I want to see your face through. <laughs> and you, what, what do you, what do you have to say My about your day? Is knowing that I can use these tools that I have. Like I was afraid of the guns that I had, and now I feel excited about them, and I feel empowered. Good, and you got some good coaching that changed yeah. your shot right yeah. away from the beginning. Totally, I learned a lot. Cool. David, what's the word for you today? The word is uh, fucking yeah. Texan. Frank Mondios is a fucking <laughs> Texan now. It's official. It's, it's official. official. Just waiting to become legal here so that I can yeah. get my gun. It's yeah. like it's almost going to be painful to not have a gun here. Yeah, and Julia, goddamn crusher. Uh, Glock 9mm, finally got it out of the case. You there know, you go. put about 100 some rounds to her, so. Yeah, now the word is fucking barbecue, but that's like three words. So. Yeah. So that's it. That's our day at the range. Good times. Love that I could film inside. We're going to head out for some barbecue, get some good sights. Good times. Loving Texas. Just fucking loving Texas. Um, appreciating everything about this place. Check out frankmondose.com for all news in regards to me. I have my new website coming out in the next couple of weeks, loveandarrows.com, where you will be able to do the five-hour contemporary relating course called Love Without Limit. Check it out now. And remember, let love free.